A little while ago on Woodworking with Wes, we showed a new finish that we had been introduced called Shoshugi Ben. As we had done that video, we talked about building a piece of furniture with that finish process. This is that piece of furniture. We do a little table with a shelf down below. And on this video, we're going to go through and show all of the things that we ran into, some of the problems and some of the solutions that we came up with in building our table. Let's look.
sitting on our Shoshugi band table and you've seen some of the things that we started to do. We glued up our board, we burned it, we wire brushed it, and you saw how what a beautiful color we had on our wire brush. And then we put a coat of lacquer on it. But you'll notice that the original one that we did the coat of lacquer was so dark, we just didn't like it. So what we did is we came back, we took our Makita wheel sander, and by the way, it works as a great stripper tool. Anyway, we took our uh, wire, our uh, Makita wheel sander, and we wheel sanded off that original finish. That also took a coat of, or a, a layer, I should say, not a coat, but a layer of the char from our original burn of our Shoshugi ban, and we ended up with a much lighter finish. You can see now. If you watch the video, you can see where we put a, a new coat of lacquer on our shelf and our top. And this is the color that we ended up with. And it's just beautiful. It has a very deep texture, a nice finish. That color really stands out. I love the way that the burn has, has uh, highlighted the grain. And it's just a real pretty table that we're, we ended up with. But we learned a few things. We learned that lacquer darkens our burn. I knew it would darken a little bit, but not as much as it did when it got when we sprayed our first coat of lacquer on there. It was just too dark. So keep that in mind when you're doing your shoshugi ban and you're, you're doing your wire brush. Remember that when you put your finish on, that darkens. So you want to take a little extra off if you want it to be a little lighter. And if you want to do a, uh, a dye stain or a stain, after you wire brush, you've got to go down enough to bring out the base wood between your grain. So let's get ready to put that table together. We're getting ready to assemble our table. We're going to be using these hairpin legs that we bought from Amazon. They have a great selection of metal legs, by the way. But anyway, one thing I wanted to add before we get going on this, I had talked about the fact that I had used my Makita wheel sander to strip off and take this finish down. Same can be done with a real stiff wire brush, just more work. So don't be afraid to just get after it with a wire brush and take that finish down in order to do that. So we're going to roll this over and put our legs on. Now, you'll notice I put some supports on the back side here. We did a very light scorch on the back side for color. I had some additional brackets out here, but they ended up being in the way of the legs. But these brackets, all they are is just some additional... Uh, pine stock that I screwed to the back side of this for stability of the top so that it wouldn't bow or cup and I just put those on there for for stability in in uh, the construction of the of the table we've already got our holes lined up here and we're gonna go ahead and put the legs on just like that screw it to the bottom of the table we'll go through and do that we're just using some three quarter inch small screws and just like that very simple we'll go ahead and put all the legs on the bottom side of the table first and then I'll show you how we put the shelf in to put the shelf in one thing I wanted to note it or, or to talk about this uh, leg does not come with a bracket to hold a shelf so I just drilled a hole in the center leg of this uh, leg here so that I could mount the shelf and I just measured eight and a half inches we're going to space the shelf up eight inches from the floor and we'll show you how we do that as we install the shelf. First thing we do, 
we're going to roll this table over. And I made myself two 8 inch spacers like that. And we're just going to grab our shelf and bring our shelf in here and set it like that on top of our 8 inch spacer. And we'll now tie our legs together. And the, the bracket will pull, our, I mean our shelf will pull these legs in all together. And uh, we'll be using a two inch black screw in the corner here. Just like this. I think we ended up with a pretty nice little table here. Turned out pretty good. It's been an education though. We learned a little bit about the kind of things we need to do to get it a really nice finish on our sugar shoshugi band to make the grain pop out and get a beautiful texture. All of these things go as part of the education that you go, do or get, I should say, a part of the education that you get every time that you do a wood project. It teaches you stuff. That's part of woodworking. But we ended up with a pretty nice little table, and we had a lot of fun, and we look forward to doing all kinds of things like this on woodworking with Wes. <laughs>